Chapter 3 Subtraction Subtracting two digit numbers without borrowing. In subtraction sums, the smaller number is always subtracted from the bigger number. We start subtraction from the rightmost place. Let's subtract 63 from 96. Write the numbers one below the other as shown. Write the bigger number first. First, subtract the ones. 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 ones. Write 3 under 1's column. Next, subtract the tens. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3 tens. Write 3 under 10's column. Thus, the difference is 33. Remember, in subtraction sums, the bigger number is called the minute and the smaller number is called the subtrand. The answer of a subtraction sum is called the difference. Subtraction facts by subtracting 1 from a number, we get the previous number. For example, 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. Subtracting 0 from a number means no subtraction. The difference is the number itself. For example, 11 minus 0 is equal to 11. When a number is subtracted from itself, the difference is 0. For example, 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. Subtracting two digit numbers with borrowing. Do you know the subtraction of two digit numbers? Yes, but I do not know how to subtract two digit numbers with borrowing. Okay, let's learn to subtract two digit numbers with borrowing. For example, subtract 34 from 92. Write the bigger number first. First, subtract the ones. We cannot subtract four ones from two ones. Since two is smaller than four, so borrow one ten from tens column. One ten plus two ones is equal to 12 ones. Now subtract ones. 12 minus 4 is equal to 8 ones. Write 8 under ones column. In tens column, we are left with 8 tens. Subtract tens. 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 tens. Write 5 under tens column. Thus, the difference is 58. Subtracting three-digit numbers without borrowing. You have done the subtraction of two-digit numbers before. Let us now learn how to subtract three-digit numbers. For example, to subtract 125 from 657, first subtract the ones. 7 minus 5 equals to Two ones. Write two under ones column. Next, subtract the tens. Five minus two equals to three tens. Write three under tens column. Then subtract the hundreds. Six minus one equals to five hundreds. Write five under hundreds column. Thus, the difference is five hundred thirty-two. Subtracting three-digit numbers with borrowing. You borrow from the tens column. You can borrow from hundreds column also. For example, to subtract 256 from 600, we don't have any number in ones column and tens column. So, we need to borrow from hundreds column. First, borrow 100 for tens column. Now, we have 10 tens. Again borrow 1 ten for the ones column. Now we have 10 ones. Finally, 
subtract the ones, then tens, then hundreds. Thus, the difference is 344. Relation between addition and subtraction Do you know how addition and subtraction are related? Yes, they are opposite operations. For example, add 5 to 25 to get 30. Then subtract 5 from 30 to get 25. Add 6 to 12 to get 18. Subtract 6 from 18 to get 12.